uh, good day viewers uh, welcome to us to this special edition organic chemistry and we are going to be considering uh, uh, this topic class uh, the differentiation of alkanons on the basis of number of hydroxy group now of course we know that alkanons are classified in two ways which are number of hydroxy group and number of alkyl group so but we are going to be considering this video based on the number of hydroxy group we want to see how we can differentiate both of them all the alkanons based on number of hydroxy group but before i proceed don't forget to always drop your comment at the end of every video and also uh, share our video and also subscribe for when next we will drop uh, video regarding your preferred subjects chemistry physics and biology and uh, mathematics sorry uh please so let's proceed further in classifying differentiating this classification of alkanons now in number of hydroxy group alkanons are classified either as monohydric either as monohydric either as monohydric alkanons either as monohydric alkanons or polyhydric alkanons either as monohydric alkanons or polyhydric alkanons polyhydric alkanons now in monohydric it means that the alkanon has one hydroxy group while in polyhydric they has one or uh, more than one hydroxy group that's what it really means now let's look at the first one monohydric alkanon a monohydric alkanon is an alkanon that has one an alkanon that has one hydroxy group an alkanon that has one hydroxy group so this is the example of a monohydric alkanon a monohydric alkanon has one hydroxy group and this may this name is called the methanol so the methanol is a monohydric alkanol because it has one hydroxy group in the compound now if we are looking at a compound uh uh let's look at another one we also have uh for example we, we also have uh uh, uh ethane ethane is a uh, ethanol ethanol is another uh, is another uh, monohydric alkanol. Uh, look at it. We have uh, the compound in this pattern. We have the compound in this pattern. Now it's another monohydric. It's another monohydric alkanol. Uh, so it has only one hydroxy group. It has only one hydroxy group. As long as the compound has only one hydroxy group, that compound is classified as a monohydric alkanol. So ethane, ethanol, ethanol is also Another good example of monohydric alkanol. It has one hydroxy group. Now, let's look at the polyhydric alkanol. Now, in the polyhydric alkanol, in the polyhydric alkanol, we they are divided into. We'll be considered just two of them, which is the dihydric, which is the dihydric, and uh, the trihydric alkanol. These are the little two we are going to be considering the dihydric and the trihydric alkanol. We'll be considering just these two the dihydric and the trihydric alkanol. Of course, from the definition or from the word, the dihydric alkanol is an alkanol that has two hydroxy groups. For example, we have uh, a formula, we have a question in this pattern. We have C, C, and we have uh, the OH, then we also have the OH. We have the H, we have the H, uh, we have the H hydrogen atom attached to it. Now, this is an example of a dihydric alkanol. An example of it because having two hydroxy group in the um, in the compound. Two hydroxy group are found in the compound. It's an example of a dihydric alkanol. And the name of this compound is simply from the parent name one two. We have the ethane. So we have the ethane one two. That all it a one two that or that all it a one two that all it a one two that all the one two that all from the parent name we have it in the first carbon atom is carrying one hydroxy group second carbon carbon atom is carrying two uh, had another hydroxy group and as such because we have two hydroxy group in the compound is called that all so we have it in one two that all quickly let's look at the another one the example of a trihydric alkanol. In a trihydric alkanol, we they have three hydroxy group. So there is three hydroxy group in the compound. There is three hydroxy group 
in the compound. We have three hydroxy group in the compound, and that is an example of a uh, trihydric alkanol. A trihydric alkanol. Now, this is the example, very good example of a trihydric alkanol. Now, let's look for the let's name this uh, alkanol. Don't forget the name, the parent name there is one, two, three. So we have the propane, the propane. We have the propane. We have the propane as the parent name. Then the first carbon atom we have one hydroxy group. Second carbon atom we have uh two hydroxy group. The second the third carbon atom also carry an hydroxy group. And as such, we have three hydroxy group in the compound. So therefore it becomes tri or so three. So we have propane one, two, tri or propane one, two, three, tri or and this is how we classify alkanon based on number of hydroxy group. Don't forget to always drop your comments next time and also tell us how you feel about this video. And don't forget to also subscribe. Thank you and God bless.